Hey Sunnyvers, this is Super Summer Club Barbecue, and today we are going to be heading back to some more WWE Champions, and today we've got a very specific person we're after, yes, Giddy 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 Goldberg, I could just call him Goldberg there, this guy, who's next, this man is next, we're going to be going after him in hell mode, I've got to collect myself another one of those briefcases, but we've got to go after him in hell mode. I need to get this guy. I want to get this guy. He would be a great addition to my squad, but the likelihood of me getting him is like this much. And the reason why I'm going after him is because of Gauntlet Blitz. It's back. Another event. I'm getting myself loads of Gauntlet Blitz uh, tickets, and I'm getting myself tons of goodies from this event. This event is brilliant, and what I'm going to show you is how to actually create the best possible team for Golden the Blitz. And the thing is, you don't have to have a crazy good team to actually be able to compete with Helmo. You just have to have a very balanced deck, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So we're going to go into Golden the Blitz. We're going to try and beat Goldberg. I have got three superstars remaining, but you will see that Goldberg is quite higher than a lot of the rest of them. So let's go and have a look at the rewards for this week's Gauntlet Blitz. You can see here I've already got some of them. I've already got a few of those rewards already. And you can see down the bottom, we've got those uh, those double star coins, which are very, very useful. The prop boxes, which are brilliant. They're so useful. Make sure you go through the final matches. Those are amazing. Lots of coins, lots of med packs. Although I tend to use a lot of the med packs, kind of uh, refreshing my energy in this game mode. They're not really that useful. So we're going up against Goldberg. I'm really hoping that we don't get our asses kicked. Really hoping. But we're going to have to change those props first of all because we've got a ton of new props. Now, purely because he is the weakest because of that massive, massive problem of him being a powerhouse. I am going to put in Dolph Ziggler first. I'm also going to put in uh, a couple of things that are going to be needed for this. I'm going to take out the million dollar bribe. I'm also going to take out the, the tax season. Uh, I think this should be, should work. I'll have this for taking out a line of uh, gems as well. So those will be useful. Uh, I'm going to hope just to take as much damage off him as possible. This is a great tip for the final person. And the final person, the final three people are always going to be better than the superstars you've got. So if you're playing it, let me know in the comment section below. And also remember to hit up this video with a huge like. If we can hit a spear and a jackhammer on this video, a huge jackhammer on the like button, just be careful not to break your phone or your laptop or your computer, right? And let's go. So let's get into this right now. DZ Dolph Ziggler going to get his ass kicked live on Super Summer God Barbecue Network, only 333. That's an old Biggie dude meme right there. Uh, but here we go, DZ. He's almost certainly going to meet his end. Uh, there you go, Goldberg. He, his entrance is very impressive. Like, if I got my hands on one of those cards, I would be very, very happy. So first of all, we've got ourselves a, oh, a very good start straight away. Very, very good start straight away. Uh, I'm very happy with that start. He's got a really good gem balance. Which I think is going to screw me up. Uh, and I don't think I've got anything else I can use other than the, the black standard bomb. Nope. So you can use a black gem standard bomb just to hopefully just get as much. In fairness, this match is all around just putting as much damage on Goldberg as possible. So the other two can uh, kind of clear up the mess. But is there anything else I can use here? I'm kind of screwed with this one. I need to somehow think is there anything else I can use. No yellows, no reds. No purple, so literally I am down to using purely just blues. But I get my finisher up. Uh, two blues there, two columns of blues. Reach off in the board because there was literally nothing else to use. Although he's now just got his finisher tokens up. So I'm going to use a running corner splash, which will keep him uh, at least occupied or preoccupied for a second. Uh, he's got reds there. I'm not sure what this is going to do, but I'm going to go for a wild card here. And he's actually taken out the wild card already. I've gone for a pin. Why? I didn't want to go for a pin, Dolph Ziggler. Please don't go for a pin. I didn't want to go for a pin. Uh, he's going to go for a Minotaur Press, and it's going to kill me. It's level 7. Minotaur Press Spine Buster. Like, uh, it was just insta-death. Insta-death. Okay, so... He's going to have his finisher up really, really soon. So, I'm going to go for... 
I'm not sure what to do here. I'm really not sure what to do here. You know what? Uh, I am going to go for... I'm going to knock out a column of gems. Because it doesn't matter when I use this one. It really doesn't matter when I use this one. Um, actually, that's going to help a lot. Because I can put the heal gems on the board. And then take out him and more of his health down. With my finisher. Uh, let's convert three of these to health to heal gems. Well, it doesn't really matter where they go. Because what I'm using it for is the finisher here. So you can see there, using this finisher, it destroys those three random heal gems. Which means that I get more potential damage as a result of it. And there's not really anything else I could do with it. So you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And this might do a little bit more damage. I'm hoping it does anyway. Oh damn, I've taken out a lot of damage there. That's that that's taken him down quite a lot. And if it wasn't for that, he probably would have got damaged a lot more. But he got very, very lucky. I say very lucky, he's gonna kick my ass now. I mean literally it's not even it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. Dov is as he's pretty much confirmed his own death by doing what he's just done. Although we've just caused a lot of damage to Goldberg. We, we are not far off being ready ourselves. So if we can get a bit lucky here, we might just have a shot. If that takes out the one in the middle, bingo. Perfect. So more damage done. And I can then go for the running corner splash strategy. It's all up here. Going for a spear. Boom. It's over. No way I was going to be able to do that. So a little bit of a silly move. But Dolph Ziggler, given that he's a weaker class, that was pretty impressive. I, I'm going to tell you now, that was pretty freaking impressive. I did not expect that from DZ. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put in... Uh, I'm going to put in Seth Rollins. I'm going to go for Seth Rollins. We, it seems, unless Goldberg's very lucky, that we're going to have this. We are going to win this. So this is going to be the next move. So... Well, I can just go straight... There we go. Straight line. Taking out two straight away, 2,408. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I just got to hope he doesn't get lucky. Another line. How much damage is that going to take off? Oh, it's not far off going to take him out. We might be able to do this without li little to any problems at all. This is very interesting. So, we're going to take him down to danger. We're going to take him down to the danger zone. And that was not a reference for Chris Denker, by the way. Just FYI. Uh, so what can we do here? Reds and blues at the same time. There we go. Oh, it's going to go for a pin. There we go. One, two, three. Baba Goldberg. You're done. I'm not next. You're done. Thank you very much. We have just beaten hell mode. And I'm going to show you now the deck that I use. And I didn't use any of my three star bronze superstars. There is a way of doing it with the three bronze superstars. But because I know most people aren't going to have those, I thought it's best to use an, a mode that, or an option that's a little bit different. And first of all, uh, if you're going to go for a team, again, ignore the really high up superstars. You don't want those at all. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put in, first of all, the Miz. And then we are going to go to Ryback. Uh, then we are going to go to this little position here and put in uh, Mark Henry. And he's a two-star bronze, but he's... You, you could have your, like a gold star for this one. It doesn't matter. I just want someone to take out the initial people, okay? And my other suggestion is if you're going to open any packs from these, like the free packs you get with the t-shirts or the two-star guaranteed uh, superstar, use uh, maybe slightly unleveled characters, people. People you wouldn't put in, but you can like, level up over time. That works a lot. Striker, I'm going to use my Seth Rollins because he is so freaking useful. You have no idea. I've got my two-star Booker T. He is a lifesaver, okay? And these guys aren't, again, as you can see, they aren't heavily leveled. These guys are just normal, uh, max-leveled bronze superstars or gold superstars. Uh, I'm going to put in... Who else did I put in? I put in a silver star DDP. So whilst you're on the road, you get that as a normal free card. Uh, so who else can we use? Who else do I normally use? We've got Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler I use as well. And again, you could use... It's not about getting the best overall cards in your deck. It's about having the cards in your deck which make the most sense. So if we go to John Cena. John Cena is my last one. Here you go. 
So you can see here, I've got maxed out John Cena you get from just doing the road. I've got DDP you get from doing the road as well. The Miz, I believe I got from a pack, but these are all guys that I just got from normal mega superstar packs. None of them are three star, bronze stars. And you can see here, they are incredibly leveled. Now, the reason I've done this, and this is the way Gauntlet Blitz seems to work. It's not about how good your superstars are. It's your weakest superstars and your top superstars. So if I went ahead and put AJ Styles in here, or uh, Jerry King Lord, which are both three-star bronze superstars, it would completely wipe out the rest of the team because regardless of the fact that these guys are really, really good, it would get me so far, and it gets you up to that level seven, level eight. And you'll see that when I start off, we're gonna join this event now quickly. Uh, we're going to go in. Now you're going to see, first of all, that Darren Young is based off of my worst possible superstar, which is DDP. I'm going to leave him alone. What I'm going to do now is use Mark Henry to go into battle with him. And I'm going to use Mark Henry for as long as I can. Because Mark Henry is my weakest two-star superstar. All the other cards I've got are just going to be used as fodder until I get up to the, the latter stages. And I'm going to face Darren Young now. And this match is probably going to take no time at all. Sandbagging where you put your best deck in doesn't usually work. This kind of sandbagging where you put a couple of weaker superstars in. With the rest of your team being slightly higher seems to work. And I have used this with one star gold. And it's worked absolutely fine. So if you're doing this, it is a brilliant way. And a very, very easy way to get yourself really good cards. As you've seen by the Gordon Blitz Awards, it's not exactly hard to get yourself some two-star superstars. So here we go. There's a little splash there from Mark Henry. Uh, are we going to get anything from here? No. Okay. So we've got the green now. I don't really want the green. I want the yellow. But you know what? We're going to have to use it. A little stomp there. He's going to use one of his moves now. I'm not particularly bothered at this point. Me, me losing health to uh, Darren Young is not going to, is not going to hurt me. So. But you know what? I'm just going to knock out this to, to level up the, the finisher because he is going to be close to... He's pretty much done. I mean, if I if I was to get a really good move of superstars here, my finisher's still not ready, which is really frustrating me at this point. So you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and take out as much as I can, but he's going to use another move on me. This is, uh, this is frustrating. I'm not getting any gems at all, which I can actually use. Okay, so I could take him out using those green gems on the that has the four in a row. But you know what? I'm just going to take him out using the finisher. Just the best way to get it done. Uh, that is, as far as I've seen, that is the best team you can use for Gordon Blitz. I'm going to try and go as far as I can with Mark Henry and some of the weaker superstars. Use superstars that are really strong against the people you're facing. Do one or two rounds of Gordon the Blitz and then just work out what you want to have each stage. For example, having a, for example, having a technician in the final stages of this Gauntlet the Blitz is really, really, really good because without that, you're kind of in a position where you're going to have like I did, Dolph Ziggler being very, very, very weak. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, this one here, I'm probably going to use the Miz to take out uh, Cesaro, but I am going to open a pack now to see if we do get ourselves that Goldberg card. What's on offer this week? Got a couple of new things, haven't we? But there was someone who got a two-star bronze Bray Wyatt. But no, it doesn't seem us anything new. So I'm going to use these free t-shirts. See if I can pack Goldberg. This isn't going to happen. It's a gold. This Roman Reigns. Yay. So we're not jackhammering the like button. We're spearing and Superman punching the like button instead. Remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button which is going to pop up just below me and check out all the other WWE Champions videos I've done. Let me know if you've got a better solution for WWE Champions for Gordon the Blitz. And I'm going to go and pay some more to get myself some more maybe coins. And then the next upload of Champions, I'm going to finally open this crazy amount of victory loot and free loot. I can't wait to see you there. Remember to check the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Remember to follow those and like those. And one last thing, and that is to... Sonic!